First at five, summer may be over for kids, but that doesn't seem to be the case for students at Mark Twain Dual Language Academy. Parents say the air conditioners in classrooms there are not working right. As our Devin Clark explains, hundreds of parents have signed a petition demanding change over this heated issue, but the San Antonio Independent School District says it's already addressing it. They come all red face and um, you see the little sweat drops coming down their face. All symptoms of overheating that Erica Olguin says students, including her own three children who attend Mark Twain Dual Language Academy, have experienced after sitting through classes without functioning air conditioning. There have been a few accidents in the pre-K three and pre-K four classes where they're taking their naps. They're drinking too much water when they go to take nap. They're, you know, soiling their clothes. Olguin says after poor communication between school officials and parents, concern prompted her to create a petition on change.org. So far, more than 250 parents of SAISD students have signed it, hoping it will lead to the AC issues being fixed. Just really trying to get it, get the parents together on the same page to let to make sure that our voices are heard with the district. Victoria Cavazos, whose daughter is in first grade at Mark Twain, signed the petition and then took matters into her own hands. Today I went and I delivered a fan to the school for my daughter's classroom just to make sure. Cavazos says between similar efforts by other parents and some teachers, along with repairs being made today, the situation seems to be improving. Um, when I walked into the school, the school was cool. But with a history of these issues dating back years, parents say there is some lingering concern. This isn't anything new to us. A representative with SAISD says that debris clogging pipes is what partly contributed to the issue. We're told that even though it was cooler today, crews will be at the school making repairs throughout the night. Both parents and officials hoping that this time those repairs last. Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News. SAISD is not guaranteeing an end to those AC problems yet, but there is a board meeting scheduled for the 16th where members will meet and discuss what long-term solutions could be implemented.